हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो डियर डिबोटीज आई वुड लाइक टू रीड वन वर्स फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत आदि लीला चैप्टर फोर एंटाइटल्ड द इंटरनल रीजन्स फॉर श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभुज अपियरेंस वर्स नंबर फोर्टी वन दिस इज श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत बाशिला कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी आदि लीला चैप्टर फोर वर्स नंबर फोर्टी वन श्रील कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी महाराज इज सेंग ए माता भक्त भाव करी अंगीकार आपनी आचरी भक्ति करी ल प्रचार ए माता भक्त भाव करी अंगीकार आपनी आचरी भक्ति करी ल प्रचार ए मत भक्त भाव करी अंगीकार आपनी आचरी भक्ति करी ल प्रचार सिनोनिप्स ए मत इन दिस वे भक्त भाव द पोजिशन ऑफ अ डिवोटी करी मेकिंग अंगीकार एक्सेप्टन्स आपनी हिमसेल्फ आचरी प्रैक्टिसिंग भक्ति डिवोशनल सर्विस करीला डेड प्रचार प्रोपागेशन ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोर्ट बाय अवर बिलवर्ड फाउंडर आचार्य ओम विष्णुपाल परमहंस परिव्राजक आचार्य अष्टोत्तर तरशत श्री श्रीमद अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद ट्रांसलेशन इन दिस वे अज्यूमिंग द सेंटिमेंट ऑफ अ डिवोटी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्रीच्ड डिवोशनल सर्विस वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग इट हिमसेल्फ ए मत भक्त भाव करी अंग अंगीकार श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु इज कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ ब्रजेंद्र नंदन जी शशि सुत हो सो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज लॉर्ड कृष्ण बट ही एक्सेप्टेड द मूड ऑफ अ डिवोटी ए मत भक्त भाव करी अंगीकार ही टू भक्त भाव नॉट भगवान भाव लॉर्ड नरसिंहदेव लॉर्ड रामचंद्र लॉर्ड कृष्ण दे हैव भगवान भाव एवरी इनकार्नेशन देर इज भगवान भाव सर्व अवतारी कृष्ण स्वयं भगवान Every time Krishna comes, yete cham sakala pumsas Krishna stu Bhagwan swam Indrari vyakolam lokam mridayanti yuge yuge. Every yuga Krishna comes, and he has Bhagwan bhav. Aham sarvasya prabhava mata sarvam pravartate iti matva bhajante maam Buddha bhava saman. That is Bhagwan bhav. Mata ha parataram na anyat kinchi dasti dhananjaya mai sarvamitam protam sutre mani gana iba. He is in Bhagwan bhav every single time. सक्रदेव प्रपन्नो यस्तवास्मीति सयाचते अभयम सर्वदा तस्मै ददामि एतद्रतम इवन लॉर्ड रामचंद्र ऑल द हिज डूइंग नरवत लीला बट दैट दैट भगवान भाव कम्स आउट इन एवरी इनकार्नेशन बट ओनली एस श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एय मत भक्त भाव करी अंगीकार आपनी आचरी भक्ति करीला प्रचार ओनली एस श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु व्हेन कृष्ण कम्स एस श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही हैज भक्त भाव एंड आपनी आचरी ही टेस्ट भक्ति आपने आचरी भक्ति ही प्रैक्टिस भक्ति एंड करीला प्रचार एनी प्रीचर्स सो देर इज आचार एंड प्रचार फर्स्ट आचार देन प्रचार भारत भूमि ते हेल मनुष्य जन्म जार जन्म सार्थक करी कर पर उपकार नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द परपोर्ट ऑफ शिल प्रभुपा इट्स अ वेरी डीप परपोर्ट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेरी डीप परपोर्ट 
here it is everybody can see i'll read the verse again this is chaitanya charitamrita adilila 4.41 एई मत भक्त भाव करी अंगीकार आपनी आचरी भक्ति करीला प्रचार इन दिस वे अज्यूमिंग द सेंटिमेंट ऑफ अ डिवोटी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्रीच डिवोशनल सर्विस वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग इट हिमसेल्फ नाउ लेट अस लुक एट द पर्पोट व्हेन श्री रूप गोस्वामी मेट लॉर्ड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एट प्रयाग अलाहाबाद he offered his respectful obeisances by submitting that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu was more magnanimous than any other avatar of krishna because he was distributing love of krishna who knows this verse please raise your hand who knows this verse okay right? am i audible Yes, Prabhu. So why nobody is answering? What verse is this? See, when Rupa Goswami met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Prayag, he offered his respectful obeisances by submitting that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was more magnanimous than any other avatar because he was distributing love of Krishna. Okay. Um, Shama Vallabhi Mata Ji, please go ahead. Namo Maha Vadaniya Krishna Prima Pradayati. ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ द हाइएस्ट अचीवमेंट इज टू अटेन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ लव ऑफ गॉड हेड प्रेम कुमर तो महान Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not invent a system of religion, as people sometimes assume. Religious systems are meant to show the existence of God, who is then generally approached as the cosmic order supplier. <laughs> But Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's transcendental mission is to distribute love of Godhead to everyone. What is the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? krishna prema pradayate he wants to give krishna prem anyone who accepts god as the supreme can take to the process of chanting hare krishna and become a lover of god chant hare krishna and be happy we can get krishna prem just by chanting hare krishna therefore lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is the most magnanimous he has given such a simple process such a simple process param karuna prabhu dvijana nitai gaur chandra sab avatar sar shiromani keval anand kand bhajo bhajo bhai chaitanya nitai sudrid vishwas kori vishaya chhadiya se na se majiya mukhe bolo hari hari just by saying hari hari chanting hare krishna chanting krishna naam we can get krishna prem this is mahaprabhu's method therefore he is very merciful so simple no need of going to the forest no need of meditating for many years no need of performing uh, elaborate yagnas nothing is required just chant hare krishna just chant hare krishna everything will be achieved kalera dosha nidhe rajan asti o ek mahan guna kirtana deva krishna se mukta sang param rajet this is mahaprabhu's gift to the world <clears throat> this munificent broadcasting of devotional service is possible only for krishna himself therefore lord chaitanya is krishna only krishna can do that mukti pradata sarvesham vishnu eva na samshaya only krishna can deliver the jiva from this bhav sagar this material ocean only krishna can do that and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is doing it in wholesale so shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is definitely krishna krishna varnam visa krishnam sango pangastra parshadam yadne sankirtana prayer ejanti hi sumedasa namo maha vadanaya krishna prema pradayate krishnaya krishna chaitanya krishna chaitanya is krishna krishnaya krishna chaitanya 
नाम ने गौरव तुसे नमा ओनली नेम हैज चेंज्ड हिज नेम इज गौरव गौरव चंद्र इंस्टेड ऑफ कृष्ण चंद्र नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ श्री ल प्रभुपाद जी महाराज इज राइटिंग इन भगवत गीता कृष्ण हैज टॉट द फिलॉसफी ऑफ सरेंडर टू द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉडहेड व्हाट वर्स इज दिस प्लीज रेज योर हैंड यस लोकी लोकी जी व्हाट वर्स इज दिस सर वो मैंने मिस लोकेशन ज़ूम और करेक्टेड इट सर्वधर्म परिचित जी यस हम जो नाम है हम तम सब पापी को मोक्ष शमे मास मासो सा वेरी नाइस सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मामे कम शरणम व्रज अहम त्वाम सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्षेष्यामि मा सुच डोंट वरी मा सुच डोंट वरी जस्ट सरेंडर टू मी इन भगवत गीता कृष्ण हैज टॉट द फिलॉसफी ऑफ सरेंडर टू कृष्ण ओके कृष्ण इज सेइंग सरेंडर टू मी माम एकम कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ इज सेइंग सरेंडर टू मी माम एकम शरणम व्रज वन हु हैज सरेंडर्ड टू द सुप्रीम कैन मेक फर्दर प्रोग्रेस बाय लर्निंग टू लव हिम फर्स्ट शरणागति देन बाय शरणागति यू गेट कृष्ण प्रेम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु जीवे दोया कोरी स्वपार्षद स्वीय धाम सह अवतरी अत्यंत दुर्लभ प्रेम कोरी बारे दा शिखाए शरण गति भकते See, every sentence of Shri La Prabhupada is based upon Acharya Vani. It is based upon Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra. Shri La Bhakti Vinod Thakur Mahashay writes that Atyanta Durlabha Prema Kori Bare Dan Shikay Sharanagati Bhakatera Pran. श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु जीवे दोया कोरी स्वपार्षद स्वीय धाम सह अवतरी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु हैज कम टू बेस्ट ऑफ हिज मर्सी अपॉन ऑल ऑफ अस एंड व्हाट इज ही डूइंग ही इज टीचिंग अस द प्रोसेस ऑफ सरेंडर कृष्णा सेस मा मे कम शरण बट हाउ टू डू दैट कृष्णा ऑल्सो गेव कृष्ण प्रेम बट कृष्णा पुट अ कंडीशन he gray gave the box of krishna prem to the world 5000 years ago here take krishna prem but on that box of krishna prem lord krishna has put a lock bhagavad gita is prem shastra it is bhakti shastra bhakti means prem bhakti means prem तेषाम सतत युक्तानाम भजताम प्रीति पूर्वक भक्ति कम्स फ्रॉम द वर्ड भज टू सर्व तेषाम सतत युक्तानाम भजताम प्रीति पूर्वक सो भक्ति एंड प्रीति इज सेम भक्ति मींस लविंग डिवोशनल सर्विस सो कृष्णा केम इट इज भक्ति शास्त्र भगवत गीता इज टीचिंग भक्ति मनमना भवमद भक्त भगवत गीता इज टीचिंग अस टू बिकम अ भक्त भवमत भक्त बिकम कृष्णा भक्त बट कृष्णा हैज पुट अ लॉक अ सील ऑन द बॉक्स ऑफ कृष्ण कृष्ण प्रेम कृष्णा गेव कृष्ण प्रेम बट ही पुट अ लॉक ऑन इट एंड वॉट इज दैट लॉक हु कैन टेल वॉट इज दैट लॉक इन वन वर्ड वॉट इज द लॉक रेज योर हैंड यस पूर्णिमा बोलो बेटा वॉट इज दैट लॉक इन वन वर्ड परित्यज हरे कृष्णा वॉट इज दैट लॉक दैट कृष्णा हैज पुट सर्व धर्म परित्यज्य वी हैव टू गिव अप ऑल द धर्म एंड कंप्लीट सरेंडर ऑन टू कृष्णा करेक्ट कृष्णा हैज पुट अ लॉक ऑन द बॉक्स ऑफ कृष्णा प्रेम एंड वॉट इज दिस लॉक ताला this lock is the lock of sharanagati 
सी कृष्ण इज सेम सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य माम एकम शरणम व्रज कृष्ण इज मेकिंग अ डिमांड यू सरेंडर टू मी अहम देन अहम तो हम सर्व पापे भ्यो देर फोर अत्यंत दुर्लभ प्रेम कोरी बारे दान शिखाए शरणागति भगतेर प्राण प्रेम कम्स थ्रू शरणागति सो दट लॉक दैट कृष्ण हैज पुट इज दैट ऑफ शरणागति माम एकम शरणम रे सरेंडर टू मी देन यू विल गेट कृष्ण प्रेम कृष्ण इज मेकिंग कंडीशन बट हाउ डू वी सरेंडर हाउ डू वी सरेंडर कृष्ण से सर्वधवरान परित्य जो माम एकम शरणम वर्ग सरेंडर टू मी बट हाउ डू वी सरेंडर टू कृष्ण हू इज गोइंग टू टीच अस समबडी नीड्स टू टीच अस हाउ टू सरेंडर हाउ टू सरेंडर वॉट इज शरणागति देर फोर शिखाए शरणागति भकत एर प्राण देर फोर आवर शिल भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर सेंग दैट इट इज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु इज टीचिंग अस शरणागति हु इज द गुरु हु इज द आचार्य हु इज टीचिंग शरणागति इट इज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु सी दुक लुक एट द वर्स श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु जीवे दो या कोरी स्वपार्षाद स्वी धाम सह अवतारी अत्यंत दुर्लभ प्रेम कोरी बारे दान शिखाए शरण गति भक तेर प्राण द लाइफ एंड सोल ऑफ अ डिवोटी इज शरण गति अ डिवोटी सर्वाइव ऑन शरण गति वॉट डू वी हैव अदर देन शरण गति श्री कृष्ण शरण मम श्रीपाद वल्लभाचार्य हैज टॉट वॉट डू वी हैव अदर देन शरण गति नथिंग शरण गति इज भकत एर प्राण इट इज द लाइफ एंड सोल ऑफ अ डिवोटी बट हू इज टीचिंग शरण गति श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु शिखाए शरण गति ही इज टीचिंग शरण गति कृष्णा पुट अ लॉक ऑफ शरण गति एंड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु केम एंड ब्रोक ओपन दैट लॉक ओपन द बॉक्स एंड नमो महावदान कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय अत्यंत दुर्लभ प्रेम कोरी बारे दान दैट इज महाप्रभु ही ब्रोक द सील ऑफ शरणागति बाय टीचिंग ऑफ शरणागति एंड देर फोर हैज गिवन अस एक्सेस टू कृष्ण टेक कृष्ण प्रेम टेक कृष्ण प्रेम आपनी आचारी भक्ति करीला प्रचार दिस इज प्रचार महाप्रभु प्रचार देर फोर द कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट प्रोपगेटेड बाय लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु is especially meant for those who are cognizant of the presence of the supreme lord as the controller mahaprabhu's mission is to teach people how to dovetail everything how to dovetail themselves into engagements of transcendental loving service loving service prem he is krishna so chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna himself teaching his own service from the position of a devotee look at shila prabhupada's beautiful words i am not looking at the screen because i am getting little headache so i am reading shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna teaching his own service from the position of a devotee the lord's acceptance of the role of a devotee in the eternal form of lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is another of the lord's wonderful features we should not think that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is a temporary manifestation of bhagwan okay bhagwan wanted to teach yoga dharma so he came as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu it's just a naimittik temporary circumstantial avatar for a particular purpose no shri prabhupad is saying the eternal form of lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu mahaprabhu's leela is nitya leela eternal leela in golok vrindavan there is shweta dweep navadweep planet where shri chaitanya mahaprabhu eternally stays with nityananda prabhu advait acharya shrivas thakur haridas thakur all the associates and they are doing naam sankirtan there a conditioned soul cannot reach the absolute personality of godhead by his imperfect endeavor and therefore it is wonderful that lord shri krishna in the form of lord gauranga has made it easy for everyone to approach him <clears throat> this is the mercy of mahaprabhu he is making it easy for us to approach krishna now please listen last two paragraphs swarup damodar goswami has described lord chaitanya as krishna himself with the attitude of radharani or a combination of radha and krishna what verse is this 
quickly raise your hand what verse is this everything shila prabhupad says is based on siddhanta yes ananya go ahead beta hari krishna prabhu ji dano pranam chaitanya akyam prakata madhuna siddhanta very good very good radha krishna pranaya vikriti raladini shakti rasma ekatmanav api bhuvi pura deha bhedam gatau tau chaitanya akyam prakata madhuna tad dvayam chaikya ek aptam चैतन्याख्यम ही इज कॉल्ड चैतन्य प्रकट मधुन अभी अभी प्रकट हुए है जस्ट नाउ चैतन्याख्यम प्रकट मधुन तद्वयम च एक आप तुम देवे टू राधा एंड कृष्ण वे टू बट दे हैव बिकम वन नाउ चैतन्याख्यम प्रकट मधुन तद्वयम च ईक्यम आप्तम राधा भाव द्वितीय सुवलितम नवमी कृष्ण स्वरूपम कृष्ण हैज कम विथ टू फीचर्स ऑफ राधा रानी राधा भाव एंड राधा द्युति the complexion of radharani and the mood the heart of radharani radha bhav dyuti suvalitam navmi krishna swarupa i offer my dandavat pranam to chaitanya mahaprabhu who is a combined form of radha and krishna see swarup and this verse is written by swarup damodar goswami it is quoted in chaitanya charitamrit by shila krishna das kaviraj goswami but this is from the diary of swarup damodar goswami swarup damodar goswami has described lord chaitanya as krishna himself with the attitude of radharani or a combination of radha and krishna his intention is to taste shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's intention is to taste krishna's sweetness in transcendental love mahaprabhu wants to taste krishna's sweetness that's why he has come lord chaitanya mahaprabhu does not care to think of himself as krishna shila prabhupad is writing this Lord Chaitanya does not care to think of himself as Krishna because he wants the position of Radha Rani. Lord Chaitanya does not care to think of himself as Krishna because he wants the position of Radha Rani. We should remember this. Chila Prabhu Pada is telling all of us. We should remember this. That Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in bhakta bhav. He is in Radha bhav. not bhagwan bhav a class of so called devotees called nadia nagari or gaur nagari pretend that they have the sentiment of gopis toward lord chaitanya mahaprabhu but they do not realize that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu placed himself not as the enjoyer krishna but as the enjoyed the devotee of krishna <clears throat> krishna nanda nandan krishna is he is um vrajajana nagar he is the enjoyer <clears throat> but mahaprabhu is not in the mood of enjoyer he is in the mood of enjoyed the devotee the concoctions of unauthorized persons pretending to be bona fide have not been accepted by lord chaitanya presentations such as those of the gaura nagari are only disturbances to the sincere execution of the mission of lord chaitanya dev lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is undoubtedly krishna himself yes we are not denying he is krishna krishna ya krishna chaitanya namne gaura to him lord chaitanya is undoubtedly krishna himself and he is always non different from shrimati radharani lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is not just krishna he is radharani also but whose bhav is it krishna bhav no radha bhav duti suvalitam navmi krishna swarupa <laughs> he is undoubtedly krishna he is undoubtedly radharani but whose bhav whose mood is predominant radharani's bhav but the emotion technically called vipralambha bhav which the lord adopted for confidential reasons should not be disturbed in the name of service hari hari look at prabhupad this vipralamba bhav love in separation which is the 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 mood of a devotee who is feeling separation from krishna mahaprabhu is feeling separation from krishna kaha mora prananath murali vadan kaha jao kaha pao brajendra nandan these are the words spoken by chaitanya mahaprabhu where is krishna where is krishna where is krishna where is krishna this is called vipralamba bhav the emotion technically called vipralamba bhav which lord chaitanya mahaprabhu adopted for confidential reasons 
should not be disturbed in the name of service. Don't disturb the mood of Gaurav. Prabhupada is saying. A mundaner should not unnecessarily intrude into affairs of transcendence. If we have mundane consciousness, laukik buddhi, we should not put our head into paralaukya, into transcendence. Mundane intelligence, we should not intrude into affairs of transcendence and thereby displease the Lord. If we do that, we'll displease the Lord. One must always be on guard against this sort of devotional anomaly. A devotee is not meant to create disturbances to Krishna. As Srila Rupa Goswami has explained, devotional service is Anukulena Krishnanu Shilanam Bhakti Ruttama. It is Anukulena or it is favorable to Krishna. The way Krishna wants, not what I want. That is not the question. The question is what Krishna wants. If Krishna wants Jhulan, we will do Jhulan. If Krishna wants Chandan, we will do Chandan. If Krishna wants Naukavihar, we will do Naukavihar. Whatever pleases Krishna. Acting unfavorably toward Krishna is not devotion. That is Kansa Bhav, not Radha Bhav. Acting unfavorably toward Krishna is not devotion. Kansa was the enemy of Krishna, but he thought of him as an enemy. One should always avoid such unfavorable so-called service. Now see, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has accepted the role of Radharani. Today's Radhashtami, we should understand what is the mood of Radharani and how it relates to all of us today in the 21st century. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has accepted the role of Radharani and we should support that position as Swarup Damodar Goswami did in the Gambhira. Gambhira is the house of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Puri. Swarup Damodar Goswami, Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami always reminded Lord Chaitanya of Radharani's feelings of separation as they are described in Srimad Bhagavatam. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appreciated this assistance. We have to assist Mahaprabhu in his confidential mood. But the Gaura Nagaris who place Lord Chaitanya in the position of enjoyer and themselves as Mahaprabhu's enjoyed are not approved by Lord Chaitanya or by Lord Chaitanya's followers. Instead of being blessed, the foolish imitators are left completely apart. Their concoctions are against the principles of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The doctrine of transcendental enjoyment by Krishna cannot be mixed up with the doctrine of transcendental feeling of separation from Krishna in the role of Radharani. Cannot be mixed. Radharani's role is that of enjoyed. We cannot mix the enjoyer bhav with Radharani. So that should be avoided. We read this verse, my dear friends, because it is a very important verse that teaches us what is the mood of Radharani. And Radharani's mood is the same as the mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This we have to understand. Now, I would like to read something more to all of you about the mood of Radharani. This is the fourth chapter. I am sharing the screen. This is the, also the fourth chapter of the Adi Leela of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya chudushkritam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that he comes mainly for three reasons. To establish dharma, to protect the devotees and to destroy the miscreants. Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami says that destroying of the miscreants can be done by anybody. By any Vishnu Murti or even a Shaktyavesh avatar can do it. No problem. Or even a devotee like Arjun can be empowered to do Vinashaya Chadushkritam. What is the need for Krishna himself to come? Let us see. Here, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is explaining very clearly. Because in the purport that we read, Srila Prabhupada said that he took the mood of Radharani for confidential reasons. Now, what are those confidential reasons? Let us see, my dear friends. Text 15 and 16. Prema rasa nirayasa karite aswadan 
राग मार्ग भक्ति लोके करीते प्रचारण रसिक शेखर कृष्ण परम करुणा एई दुई हेतु हईते इच्छा र उद्गम लॉर्ड कृष्णास डिजायर टू अपीयर इन कलियुग एज श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉज बॉर्न आउट ऑफ टू रीजन ए दुई हेतु हईते इच्छा र उद्गम टू रीजन वाय कृष्ण के वॉट आर दे The Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God. Prem rasa niryasa karite aswadan. Krishna wanted to taste prem, prem rasa, and rag marg bhakti loke karite pracharan. And he wants to propagate devotional service in the world. What devotional service? On the platform of spontaneous bhakti, spontaneous attraction. Thus, he is known as supremely jubilant and as the most merciful of all rasika shekhara krishna parama karuna most merciful namo mahavadanya parama karuna prabhu dui jana nitai gaura chandra rasika shekhara krishna parama karuna why he is known like that because he has come to give rag marg bhakti so now the question is did shri chaitanya mahaprabhu or shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's uh, followers like shri prabhupada come to give just vaidhi bhakti what is the answer Yes or no? Did Mahaprabhu and Prabhupada come to give Vaidhi Bhakti? Yes, Ananya. No, Prabhu. What Bhakti did they come to give? Okay, Lokesh Prabhu. What Bhakti did Prabhupada and Mahaprabhu come to give? Prema Bhakti. Yes, Prema Bhakti comes from. raganuga bhakti they came to give raganuga bhakti spontaneous bhakti clearly it is mentioned we have to pay attention to these verses they are very important so we understand the mood and mission of shila prabhupad mood and mission of shila prabhupad shila prabhupad did not come to give just vaidhi bhakti vaidhi bhakti is the beginning it is a foundation foundation is very important well begun is half done they say so if we begin our bhakti on the platform of solid vaidhi bhakti then we are on a strong footing then it is very much possible to go to the platform of raganuga bhakti but raganuga bhakti is the aim spontaneous bhakti is the aim clearly it is mentioned by shri krishna das kaviraj goswami raga marg bhakti loke karite pracharan what is the prachar rag marg bhakti spontaneous bhakti raganuga bhakti not just vaidhi bhakti and mahaprabhu is also tasting so in short look at verse 15 why did shri chaitanya mahaprabhu come in the mood of radharani chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna he came to prem rasa aswadana to taste radharani's love and ragamarg bhakti loke karite pracharan he came to preach and distribute rag bhakti ragmarg bhakti therefore his parama karuna rasika shekhar krishna parama karuna if he came to give just vaidhi bhakti he is not parama karuna vaidhi bhakti anybody can give but as you said lokesh prabhu prema bhakti that is very rare that is prema kumar to maha it is the highest achievement so so krishna had these two desires krishna wanted to taste radha prem and he wanted to preach rag bhakti aishwarya nane te sab jagat mishrita aishwarya shithil prem nahi mor prita whole universe is worshiping with aishwarya entire vaikuntha planets are filled with aishwarya gyan aishwarya may bhakti dwarka aishwarya bhakti mathura aishwarya bhakti aishwarya gyane te sab jagat mishri everywhere all over the creation there is only aishwarya gyan mishra bhakti aishwarya shithila prem nahi mor prit but aishwarya mixed prem prem weakened by aishwarya gyan nahi mor prit doesn't satisfy me आमारे ईश्वर माने आपना के ही तार प्रेम वश आमी ना हो अधीन इफ वन कंसिडर्स मी टू बी भगवान एंड हिमसेल्फ टू बी अ दास आई डो नॉट बिकम सबसे टू हिज लव नॉर कैन इट कंट्रोल मी आमा के ते ये भक्त भज ये ये भावे तारे से से भावे भजी ए मोर स्वभावे इन वॉट एवर ट्रांसेंडेंटल रिलेशनशिप और डिवोटी वर्शिप्स मी आई रेसिप्रोकेट that is my natural behavior ei mora swabhav e athamam prapadyante tam sathaiva bhajamyam mama vartamanu vartante manushya partha sarvasha 
मोर पुत्र मोर सखा मोर प्राणपति एई भावे जई मोरे करे शुद्ध भक्ति आपन आके बड़ माने आमारे समहीन सेई भावे है आमी तहार अधीन If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me, thinking of me as a son, friend, or beloved, regarding him self as great and considering me to be equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. Apna ke bada mane. I am your mother. I will punish you, Nanda Maharaj. Go bring my chappal, bring my uh, shoes, and Krishna is carrying. Apna ke bada mane. Amare samahin, and the friends consider Krishna to be sama, friend, very equal. सही भाव है अमित तहार अधीन सच डिवोटीज हु कंसीडर कृष्णा देयर ओन कृष्णा यू आर माइन यू आर माइन एंड आई एम योर्स सही भाव है अमित तहार अधीन ओनली दे कैन कंट्रोल कृष्णा मई भक्तिर हु भूता नाम अमृतत्वाय कल्पते दृष्ट्या यद आसीन मत स्नेहो भवति नाम मदापन डिवोशनल सर्विस रेंडर्ड टू मी बाय द लिविंग एंटिटीज रिवाइव्स देयर इटर्नल लाइफ अमृता तत्व कल्पते अमृतत्व आय कल्पते एंड माय डियर डैमजल्स ऑफ रजा ओ ब्रज गोपीज योर अफेक्ट कृष्ण इज स्पीकिंग टू अ गोपीज योर अफेक्शन फॉर मी इज योर गुड फॉर्च्यून फॉर इट इज द ओनली मींस बाय व्हिच यू हैव ऑब्टेन्ड माय फेवर माता मोरे पुत्र भावे करे न बंधन अति ही न ज्ञाने करे लालन पालन दिस इज मदर यशोदा वात्सल्य प्रेम शी बाइंड्स मी विथ अ रोप she nourishes me feeds me protects me thinking me to be utterly helpless sakha shuddha sakhe kare skandhe arohan tumi kon abad lok tumi ami sam shridam sudam madhumangal stoka krishna de climb on krishna shoulder in pure friendship saying what kind of big man are you you and i are equal this is called um pure friendship See, Shila Prabhu says, pure friendship. Kavira Rupa says, shuddha sakhe. There is sakha bhav, like Vibhishan, Sugriv and Ram also had a pact of friendship. But that is with a lot of Aishwarya mixed. But it is shuddha bhakti. Tumi kon bada? Tumi kon bada loka? Tumi amisam. Who are you? You think you are a big man, Krishna? You and me are same. That is shuddha sakhe. प्रिया मान करी कर ये भर्सन वेद स्तुति हईते हरे से मोरमन इफ माई बिलवेड कॉन्सॉर्ट रेप्रोचेस मी चेस्टाइज मी इन अल्की मूड दैट स्टील्स माई माइंड फ्रॉम द रेवरेंट हिम्स ऑफ द वेदास वेद स्तुति वेद स्तुति डजेंट कैप्चर माई हार्ट लाइक प्रिया यदि मान करे इफ राधाराणी गोज इन मान प्रिया प्रिया इज अ नेम ऑफ राधाराणी प्रिया जी If Priya yadi man kari kara ya bharsan, when Radharani, my beloved, gets angry with me, goes into man, does the man lila, and chastises me, kara ya bharsan, Veda suti hai te hare sei moraman. It steals my mind more than what the Vedas can steal. Ei shuddha bhakta laya kari mu avatar kari ba vivida vidha adbhuta vihar vai khunda de nahi je je lila ra prachar. वंडरफुल वेज अद्भुत विहार अननोन इवन इन वैकुंठ वैकुंठ आद्य नाही जे जे लीला प्रचार इवन वैकुंठ डजंट नो दीज लीला वॉट विल आय डू से लीला करीब जाते मोर चमत्कार दोज पास टाइम्स विच आर नॉट इवन नोन इन वैकुंठ आय विल ब्रॉडकास्ट दॅम आय विल ब्रॉडकास्ट दॅम सो दिस इज द thoughts these are the thoughts of krishna as he is coming in the form of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu with radha bhav with the mood of radharani this is the greatness of shrimati radharani in this regard i would like to glorify shrimati radharani by reading something that shri bhakti vinod thakur has written in jaiva dharma so please listen carefully just sit 
hear and relish this is our radharani this is our radharani shri radhara swarup who is radharani today is radhashtami let us understand who is radharani one day vijay kumar and vrajnath took bath in indradyumna sarovar and upon returning to their residence they honored prasad together vrajnath then set off to have darshan of shri haridas thakur samadhi while vijay kumar came before the lotus feet of his gurudev at shri radha kant math when vijay kumar saw that the time was appropriate he posed some questions about shrimati radhika prabhu shri vrishabhanu nandini is our be all and end all and our very life's breath radharani is our sarvasva i cannot express it i do not know why my heart melts when i just hear the name of shri radhika shri radhika just the name of radha 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 nama param sukhadai i do not know why my heart melts when i just hear the name of shri radhika although shri krishna is our only refuge still i only like to taste the playful pastimes that krishna performs with shri radhika ha ha my mind does not want to hear any krishna katha that does not mention shrimati radhika's name or discuss her pastimes jana hai dwarka jana hai ayodhya vaikund never we will only go where shrimati radharani is because radharani is our everything impossible we don't care what opulence is there in mathura or dwarka or vaikuntha or ayodhya we don't care if there is a radharani we will go ragunadas goswami says if radharani goes to dwarka then faster than garuda i will fly to dwarka and go there <laughs> but if radharani is not there i am not going that is the thing because constitutionally we belong to radharani radharani is prem swarupini kothai go prem mai radhe radhe shila gaur kishota gaur ji mara says radharani is prem mai and it is the nature of a devotee to be a premi bhakta jivera swarup hai krishna ra nitya das tesham sahata yukta nam bhayatam priti purvakam where is priti coming from all prem is coming from radharani so who do we belong to we belong to krishna or radharani radharani krishna is the vishay vigraha he is the object of love of radharani he is radharani's vishay vigraha but radharani is our ashray vigraha chaitanya charitamrit clearly says krishna is vishay vigraha he is the object of our love and radharani is the abode of all love krishna is the object of love radharani is the abode of love and we are supposed to become premi bhaktas it is a nature gopi bharat upada kamal or das das anudas to lovingly serve radha and krishna so where is the love coming from radharani so we belong to radharani we belong to radharani <clears throat> so very clearly it is mentioned my mind does not want to hear any krishna katha that does not mention shrimati radhika's name or discuss her past times what can i say now i am not at all pleased to introduce myself as vijay kumar bhattacharya i am overjoyed to call myself shri radhika spalya dasi the maid servant of shrimati radharani look at the nishtha shila bhakti vinod thakur ki jai another surprising thing is that i have no desire to speak vraj leela katha to those who are krishna bahirmukh reluctant to serve krishna because the nama prad to instruct a faithless person about krishna nam i have no desire to speak vraj leela katha to those who are krishna bahirmukh asat sanga tyag ei vaishnavachar as we make advancement we develop 
I don't want to say distaste, but we have no taste to associate with materialistic people. This is natural symptom of a devotee who is making advancement. I want to get up and flee from my assembly, from any assembly where those who are not Rasika describe the glories of Radha and Krishna. Yes. A devotee wants quality association. So now Gurudev is speaking. Goswami is speaking. You are fortunate. He's encouraging him. Gurudev is encouraging this type of attitude that I only want to be called Radharani's Palya Dasi. That's all. Palya Dasi. Radhara Palya Dasi Ami. Shri Bhakti Ono Thakur writes. And today morning only we were reading that bhajan. This Guru Maharaj is saying, Goswami is saying, you are fortunate. As long as one does not have complete conviction in being a Vraj Ramani, he is not qualified to enter into the descriptions of Shri Shri Radha Krishna Leela Vilas. What to speak of those in male forms? Even a Devi has no eligibility for Radha Krishna Katha. I have already discussed Krishna's beloved consorts with you. Radha and Chandravali are the foremost among them. And they both have millions of yuthas, groups. Each group has a yutheshwari, a leader. I am re repeating. Radha and Chandravali are the foremost among Krishna's beloved consorts. They both have millions of yuthas, groups of fresh adolescent gopis all between the age of 11 to 13. At the time of the Maharas, hundreds of millions of charming young gopis took part in the Ras Mandal and expanded its beauty. Vijay Kumar asks his Gurudev, Prabhu, let Chandravali have her millions of yuthas, but please show mercy to me and tell me about Shrimati Radhika's glories so that my contaminated ears may be purified and filled with rasa. I have taken full shelter of your Gurudev. Please bathe me. Snapaya tu nija dase Radhika maam kadanu. Shila Raghunath Das Goswami is also praying the same word. Snapaya tu nija dase Radhika maam kadanu. Oh Radharani, when will you bathe me? Snapaya, when will you bathe me in your service? So please. Fill my ears with rasa of Radharani's glories. Gurudev says, Goswamiji says, Aha, Vijay! Hmm. Of Radha and Chandravali, Shri Radhaji is Mahabhav Swarupa. The complete embodiment of the highest love. Mahabhav Swarupa. And she therefore excels Chandravali in all qualities and in all matters. Look, in the Tapani Shruti, Radharani has been called Gandharva. In the Rik Parishishtha, supplement to the Rig Veda, there is a description of the immense brilliance of Madhav when he is with Radha. In the Padma Puran, Shripad Naradji has also said, just as Srimati Radhika is the most beloved of Krishna, similarly her kunda is also equally dear to him. Of all the gopis, Sri Radharani is the most dear to Krishna. What an unprecedented and astonishing tattva this Radha tattva is. Among all the various shaktis of Bhagwan, the supermost Mahashakti is called Ladini Shakti. Shri Radhika is Mahabhav Swarupa, the embodiment of the condensed essence of that Ladini. Vijay, what an exceptional tattva. Now please describe Shri Radha's Swarup. Please describe Shri Radharani's form to me. Hare Krishna. Are you all interested on Radhashtami? Hearing about Sri Radharani Swaru, let us see Srimati Radharani through our ears, through the words of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur Mahashaya. Goswami ji says, In all respects, Srimati Radha is the most beautiful 
of all Shri Krishna's beloved consorts. Sushtu Kanta Swarupa. She is the best Kanta. And she is adorned with 16 Shringar decorations and 12 Abharana ornaments. Srimati Radharani has 16 Shringar, 16 types of decorations. And she has 12 Abharan. Therefore, 12 months a year, we chant 16 rounds. <laughs> Devi Krishna Mai Prokta Radhika Paradevata Sarva Lakshmi Mai Sarva Kanti Sammohini Para. What is the meaning of Sushtu Kanta Swarupa? Vijay is asking. Vijay is the student, the disciple, and Goswamiji is the guru. What is the meaning of Sushtu Kanta Swarupa? Guru Maharaj replies, Shri Radha's Swarup is so beautiful that there is no necessity of decorative embellishments. Please listen carefully, my dear friend. Srimati Radharani is so extraordinarily beautiful that there is no need for any abharan or shringar. There is no need of any decorations. Her unparalleled loveliness is expanded by her hair which is a mass of elegant curls by her lotus face, by her large restless eyes and the extraordinary beauty of her swarup is increased many times over by her exquisite shoulders that are slightly lowered and her flower bud hands which are embellished by the jewels of her fingernails. There is no comparison to Srimati Radharani's beauty in all the three worlds. So my dear friends, Srimati Radharani is so beautiful that there is no need of any decoration and any ornaments. But still, the Manjaris, the Palyadasis, they decorate Radharani with 16 decorations and 12 Abharanas. Decorations and ornaments. Why? To simply distract Krishna. Simply distract Krishna. Otherwise, Krishna will not be able to behold the beauty of Srimati Radharani. He will just faint. So to cover the beauty of Radharani, these Abharanas are there. Radharani is so beautiful. Vijay, what are the 16 Shringars? Please tell me. Goswamiji replies, Srimati Radharani's 16 Shringars are her bath in Radhakun. The radiance of the jewel decorating the tip of her nose. Nasagra Mani. The, the jewel at the tip of her nose. Pitambara Dhara Radha. Her blue garments. The belt around her waist. Her braid. Her earrings. The sandalwood paste that is applied to Radharani. The arrangement of flowers in her hair, her garland, Leela Kamala, a lotus hand that Radharani holds in her hand, Leela Kamala, Leela Kamala, lotus in her hand that Radharani plays with, Tambul in her mouth, the beautiful fragrant pan in her mouth, lotus mouth, Tambul. Adhare Tulia Divo Karpura Tambule. The Tambul in her mouth, which the Pale Dasis have given. How many? Hold on. Let's count again. Her bath in Radhakun. The radiance of the jewel decorating tip of her nose. Blue garments. Waist belt. Her braid. Her earrings. Sandalwood paste. Arrangement of flowers in her hair. Her garland. The Leela Kamal. The Tambul. The dot of Kasturi on her chin. The dot of Kasturi on her chin. That is 12. The Kajal around her eyes. 13. The pictures drawn in Mrigamad musk on her rosy cheeks. So the Paladasis, they draw different uh, designs, different pictures on her cheeks with musk. Very fragrant. Then finally, the red lac on her feet. The soles of the lotus feet of Radharani are always colored red by the lac. 
so that is and then the 16th is the tilak on her forehead shrimati radharani is tilak on the forehead these are the 16 shringars of radharani 16 shringar decorations of radharani once shripad ayendra prabhu went to loi bazar you know the story shripad ayendra prabhu goes to loi bazar and he goes to a bookstore khandelwal ras bihari lal all those bookstores <laughs> and he tells them i want a book which book do you want i want the book of how to make different hair designs for ladies <laughs> the book wala was surprised you, you are a baba ji aindra baba what happened now suddenly you want to make braids for ladies he said no just give me the book i need a book so they did not have they had to order it from delhi well, who is going to have such a book in vrindavan <laughs> they only have krishna conscious books but shripad and the pro wants the different ways of making braids and hairstyles so finally they procured the book for shripad and the pro and he told one of his followers go and get it so he went and got that book but he could not contain himself and the pro why why you want to learn this type of uh, hair dressing skills who do you have here in your brahmacharya ashram <laughs> try this on Shri Vadaan said, no, this is very important. This is my eternal service in the spiritual world. <laughs> so these are the different skills of the Palya Dasis. How they serve Shrimati Radharani. Making the hair of Radharani. Different designs, different braids. It is unimaginable how beautiful Shrimati Radharani's hair is and how many different ways her hair can be braided. every day it is different shringar every day it is different shringar and this is 16 types of shringars remember her braid was one of the shringars okay then vijay says what are the 12 abharanas what are the 12 abharanas means ornaments goswami ji replies the 12 abharanas of shrimati radharani are exceptionally brilliant jeweled tiara on shrimati radhika rani's head the tiara like a small crown exceptionally brilliant jeweled her golden earrings her golden belt the golden necklace the valli and golden shalaka on her ears the bracelets on her wrists the ornament on her neck the rings on her fingers the pearl necklace her armlets the jeweled ankle bells on her feet and the rings on on her toes these are the 12 abharans ornaments of radharani you know our lokanath goswami shila lokanath goswami the spiritual master of shila narottam das thakur of course we have his holiness loknath swami maharaj so loknath goswami who is one of the ashtamanjaris his eternal service in khadiravan is to make the red color on the soles of the lotus feet of radharani radharani takes her bath in radha kund comes out and with a golden plate with that red color she in, in, in her manjari swarup is there and radharani steps in that red color one foot then other foot and that's how radharani's lotus feet the soles of radharani's lotus feet are reddish in certain temples today radharani gives the darshan of her lotus feet isn't it so make sure you take darshan and you uh, see how it is colored red by our loknath goswami that is eternal service <laughs> he takes natural things uh, the seeds of dates and other things crushes them into fine powder mm, uh, red rose petals crushes them into fine powder fine paste and makes that red lac to paint the soles of the um, 
लोटस फीट ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी रंगा पाए रेडिश लोटस फीट सो ऑल दीज सर्विस पाल्य दासीज सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ सर्विसेस एवरी मोमेंट सो मेनी सर्विस आर देर विजय प्लीज शो कंपैशन टू मी गुरुदेव बाय डिस्क्राइबिंग श्री राधाज प्रोमिनेंट क्वालिटीज आ हा ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वालिटीज ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी टूडे इज राधाष्टमी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई यू ऑल ईगर टू लिसन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वालिटीज ऑफ आवर राधा रानी गोस्वामीज रिप्लाइज लाइक श्री कृष्ण श्रीमती राधा रानी ऑल्सो हैज इन्यूमरेबल क्वालिटीज अमंग विच ट्वेंटी फाइव आर प्रोमिनेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वालिटीज आर प्रोमिनेंट सो द जीवा हैज फिफ्टी माइन्यूट क्वालिटीज माइन्यूट क्वांटिटी देर आर क्वालिटीज इन माइन्यूट फिफ्टी ब्रह्मा जी हैज दम इन फुल शिव जी हैज फिफ्टी फाइव लॉर्ड विष्णु हैज सिक्सटी कृष्णा हैज सिक्सटी फोर क्वालिटीज राधा रानी हैज ऑल दो सिक्सटी फोर क्वालिटीज प्लस दीज ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वालिटीज ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वालिटीज आर प्रोमिनेंट Our Radha Rani is Madhur. She is very sweet. She is incomparably beautiful in appearance. Radha Rani is so beautiful. Her beauty is thousands and thousands of times more than Krishna's beauty. In fact, Krishna is completely attracted by the beauty of Shrimati Radha Rani. He is Madan Mohan, but Shrimati Radha Rani is Madan Mohan Mohini. He who has captivated even Krishna. So she is Madhur. number 2 she is an ever fresh youth always youthful she is always younger than krishna radha rani is always younger than krishna aha jai shri radhe shrimati radha rani is always younger than krishna one year and two weeks younger than krishna krishna appeared on radhashtami or oh sorry krishna appeared on janmashtami and two weeks after that radha rani appears on radhashtami and one year later so radha rani is one year and two weeks younger than krishna she is ever youthful krishna is also ever youthful and radha rani is even more youthful than krishna number 3 her eyes are restless and inclined to give side long glances radha rani being very shy she has side long glances kripa kataksha she has a radiant gentle and sweet smile shrimati radha rani has radiant gentle sweet smile that is a fourth quality fifth quality she has beautiful lines indicating auspiciousness she has all the auspicious markings number 6 shrimati radha rani maddens krishna with the fragrance of her bodily limbs tadati sura bhi radha kundame va shrayo me shila raghunath das goswami is praying like that radha kund is very fragrant in kurukshetra also in the battlefield krishna cannot stop thinking of radha rani he is saying i am the fragrance of the earth where is earth getting fragrance from from shrimati radha rani hmm? so sh- quality number 6 shrimati radha rani maddens krishna with the fragrance of her bodily limbs number 7 shrimati radha rani is expert in the musical arts expert in musical arts number 8 she speaks very sweetly radha rani is always very sweet her speech is never harsh very sweet speech number 9 she is expert in making jokes radha rani is expert at making jokes anybody who has quality of making jokes cutting jokes in the most purest original form it comes from shrimati radha rani 10 radha rani is very polite and modest even though she has so many good qualities she is very modest and very polite always very polite who wants to serve such a rani hamari thakurani shri radhika rani she is always very polite and modest and karuna karumai karuna karit radha rani is merciful she is very merciful in fact when krishna who is so merciful hey krishna karuna sindhu krishna is karuna sindhu but when krishna gets radha rani's bhav radha bhav diti solitam naomi krishna swarupam he becomes shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu namo mahavadanya how krishna has become mahavadanya because of radha rani because of radha rani's mood she is most merciful 
करुणाम कुरु मे नंबर ट्वेल्व राधा रानी इज ऑल्सो वेरी कनिंग वेन इट इज रिक्वायर्ड शी इज वेरी कनिंग नंबर थ्री शी इज एक्सपर्ट इन ऑल हर ड्यूटीज वॉट एवर राधा रानी डज शी इज मोस्ट एक्सपर्ट मोस्ट एक्सपर्ट वेदर इट इज कुकिंग फॉर दुर्वा सामोनी नो बडी कैन प्लीज दुर्वा सामोनी बट राधा रानी वेरी इजिली प्लीज डम शी इज एक्सपर्ट इन एवरीथिंग शी डज राधा रानी इज वेरी शाय वेरी शाय राधा रानी हैज नेवर सीन एनी मेल अदर दैन कृष्ण नेवर नेवर राधा रानी इज वेरी शाय नंबर फाइव शी इज ऑलवेज स्टेड फास्ट ऑन द पाथ ऑफ राइटियस कंडक्ट यस राधा रानी इज मोस्ट चेस्ट she is always steadfast on the path of righteous conduct gaurang darshan prabhu was telling us once he asked his gurudev shri radhanath swami maharaj some instructions on how he should dress shrimati radharani shri radha vrindavan bihari in the govardhana college how Radha Vrindavan Bihari should be dressed, and Shri Radha Nath Swami Maharaj told that always be very careful to dress Shri Mati Radha Rani very nicely. Be very careful, dress her very nicely, very nicely. She is most chaste, Maharaj said. She is most chaste. Dress her very carefully. Dress her very carefully. She is most chaste. radharani is always steadfast on the path of righteous conduct radharani is very patient she is very patient we devotees also need to have dhairya patience utsahad nischaya dhairya shri rupa goswami advises us so we should pray to radharani to give us patience sometimes we become very impatient so radharani please give us patience forbearance radharani is always very patient 17 radharani is grave so that it is very difficult to understand the import of her mind radharani is very grave very deep very deep she is not superficial she is very deep radharani is very grave and very deep very difficult to understand her completely therefore mahaprabhu also very difficult to understand mahaprabhu's leela is gambhir leela hmm? kal gambhir leela gambhir very difficult very deep 18 radharani is fond of enjoying pastimes she is vrindavan vilasini she loves to enjoy pastimes in vrindavan radharani number 19 radharani is acutely eager to manifest the supermost excellence of mahabhav she is eager always acutely eager to manifest the supermost excellence of mahabhav bhav at the highest level prem at the highest the parakashtha of krishna prem is called mahabhav and radharani is mahabhav swarupa and she is very eager to manifest her super most excellence of mahabhav number 20 when the residents of gokul see shrimati radharani their hearts immediately overflow with prem just by seeing radharani the hearts overflow with prem she is kothai go premamai radhe radhe she is filled with prem and she gives prem to anyone who takes her darshan so today when we take darshan of radharani in the evening in the temple let us pray that oh radharani you are prem swarupa you are the personification of prem please flood my heart with prem love for you and your beloved krishna when the residents of gokul see shri radha their hearts immediately overflow with prem quality number 21 her fame pervades the entire universe मुनींद्र वृंद वंदिते त्रिलोक शोक हारिणी प्रसन्न वक्त्र पंकजे निकुंज भू विलासिनी व्रजेन्द्र भानु नंदिनी व्रजेन्द्र सोनु संगते कदा करिष्य सिंह मां कृपा कटाक्ष भाजनम मुनींद्र वृंद वंदिते शी इज वर्शिप बाय ऑल द मुनीज एंड ऑल द देवतास एवरीवन हर फेम परवेड्स द एंटायर यूनिवर्स she is the object of affection for her superiors gurujans her gurujans love her very much shri gargacharya shri durvas muni they love her very much she is the object of affection of her superiors a gurujan also means she is the object of love 
फॉर श्रीमती राधा रानी फॉर श्रीम श्रीमती यशोदा देवी यशोदा रानी लव राधा रानी द मोस्ट कीर्तिदा देवी लव राधा रानी द मोस्ट ऑल द सुपीरियर्स दे लव राधा रानी राधा रानी इज एवरी वन फेवरेट ऑल द एल्डर्स देर फेवरेट इज राधा रानी श्री राधा इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अफेक्शन फॉर हर सुपीरियर्स फॉर द गुरुजन गुरुजन मीन्स एल्डर्स नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री श्री राधा इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द इंटेंस लव ऑफ हर सखीज हरी बोल श्री राधा इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द इंटेंस लव प्रणय ऑफ हर सखीज द सखीज कंट्रोल राधा रानी राधा रानी टूडे यू शुड वेयर दिस एंड राधा रानी विल वेयर आई थिंक दिस this ring matches better with your saree you wear this okay radharan is controlled by the love of her palya dasis 24 radharan is prominent among all of krishna's sakhis govinda nandini radha govinda mohini govinda sarvasva sarva kanta shiromani sarva kanta shiromani Shri Radha is the most prominent of all of Krishna's sakhis, and the twenty-fifth quality is Nirantaram Vashikrita Pratiti Nanda Nandane. Shri Kesha, Krishna Kesha, Krishna, Rajendra Nandan Krishna, Sham Sundar always remains submissive to the orders of Shri Radha. If Radha Rani recommends a devotee. then krishna has to accept because clearly 25th quality of radharani is krishna always remains submissive to the orders of shri radha because krishna is only controlled by love bhakti atushyati kevalam nacha gunai bhakti priyo madhav madhav is controlled by love and radharani is the source of all love vijay I want to know in detail about the elegant lines that indicate Sri Radha Rani's immense good fortune. Please, my dear friends, let us listen to the auspicious markings on Sri Mati Radha Rani's transcendental body. Goswami ji replies, according to Varaha Samhita, Jyotish Shastra, Kashi Khanda. and the purana such as matsya puran and garuda puran these are the auspicious signs on shri radha's left foot number 1 there is a barley corn at the base of her big toe barley corn it indicates samriddhi the harvest season which means in the life of the devotees of shri radha there is always prosperity hari bol because she is sarva lakshmi mai sarva kanti sammohini para devi krishna mai prokta radhika para devata she is the source of all lakshmis lakshmi sahasra shal sambram sevya man govinda madi purusham tamam bhajan shrimati radharani is so eager to love krishna to reciprocate with krishna to serve krishna that she manifests so many gopis who are all like lakshmis serving krishna so the barley corn at the base of radharani's big left toe left big toe there are five toes the big toe there's a barley corn and that indicates the prosperity in the life of a devotee of shri radha and what is this prosperity the prosperity of bhakti hari bol number 2 below the barley corn is a chakra sudarshan chakra which means a devotee of shri radha rani will never have to see yamraj the yam paash is cut to shreds by this chakra on the lot left lotus foot of shri radha we have nothing to fear nothing to fear no rahu ketu shani any planetary system any auspicious inauspicious time any prarabdha any karma nothing can affect a devotee of shri radha that is the meaning of the chakra no fear bhajahu re mana shri nandanandana abhaya charana arvind number 
Now, some of these auspicious markings are common for Radha and Krishna both. Number three, below the middle toe of the left foot is a lotus flower. Lotus flower. Lotus flower indicates the beauty of bhakti. Shri Radha. Shri Radha, the beauty. The lotus also is considered to be very cooling. In this material world, there is so much heat. Tapa, Traya, three types of miseries. We are always tormented. Adi Devi, Kadhyatmik, Adi Bhot. But Radharani, the lotus flower on her left foot, on the sole of her left foot, gives us the cooling protection that we need in this material world. Also, this lotus means that the devotee is like a honeybee and Srimati Radharani is like a honey-filled lotus. And we always take shelter. Aha, thank you for sharing. So this is the left foot of Sri Radha. And this is the barley corn. This is the chakra, Sudarshan chakra. This is the lotus. The lotus flower indicates that a devotee is like a honeybee at the lotus feet of Radharani. Radharani's lotus feet are filled with honey, like a lotus flower, and we are honeybee. Which means, just like a honeybee never leaves the lotus, similarly, a devotee of Sri Radha, a Palya Dasi, will never leave the lotus feet of Radharani. Never. They are so satisfied serving Radharani. In fact, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur writes that if Krishna gives me his Adharamrit, Nectar from Krishna's own lips. Adhar Amrit. His Uchishta. And it has not been tasted by Radharani. I will not take it. <laughs> I will not take it. If Krishna calls me, I will not go. If Radharani is not there. Because I am Radharani's Palya Dasi. I want to be with Radharani. Because Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said this. At, standing at Radha Kund. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said this to the king of Bharatpur. Our mood is not that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, therefore we serve Krishna. Our mood is that Shri Krishna is the most beloved of Radharani. Krishna Prema Mai Radha Radha Prema Mai Hari Radharani loves Krishna and Krishna loves Radharani because our Radharani who is our everything, loves Krishna. Therefore, we serve Krishna. Because Radha loves Krishna, we serve Krishna. Otherwise, we are not interested in Krishna. Srila <laughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, standing on Radha Kund, he said this, to the king of Bharatpur, who was doing Dandavati Parikrama. He said, your mood and our mood is different. Our mood is that we serve Krishna because that will please Radharani. If Radharani tells us to serve somebody else, we will serve somebody else. <laughs> but we are Radharani's Palya Dasi. Because all devotion, all bhakti originates from Radha. So we belong to Radharani. We belong to Radharani. This is all from the point of view of Rasa. Please do not misunderstand me. From the point of view of Tattva, there is no difference. Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vikritir, Ladini, Shakti, Rathar. Ekatmana. They are one. Radha and Krishna are one. Ekatmana. There is no difference between Radha and Krishna. Krishna is the male form of Godhead. And Sri Radha is the feminine form of Godhead. There is no difference. Radha, Krishna, Eka, Atma, Dui, Deha, Dhari, Anyone, Vilasa, Rasa Aswadana Kori. First line is Tattva Vichar. Second line is Rasa Vichar. Shila Krishna Das Kaurag Goswami Singh. Radha Krishna Ek Atma Dui Dehadhani. Radharani and Krishna are one and the same Supreme Lord. They have appeared in two forms. Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikriti Radini Shakti Rasmat Ek Atma Anav Abhibhuvi Pura Since eternity Deha Bhedam Gata Utav Deha Bhedam Gata Utav They are one. But eternally Radha and Krishna are manifest in two forms. Radha and Krishna. Although they are one. Radha Krishna ek atma. Dui deha dhari. This is Tattva Vichar. What is Rasa Vichar? 
Why they are two? Even though they are one, why they are two? Because anyonne between each of them, with each other, anyonne vilasa rasa aswadan koi. They want to taste rasa vilas. They want to enjoy rasa. So from the rasa point of view, there is a difference between Radha and Krishna, and we belong to Radha Rani. Ami Radha uh, Paksha Pati Sada. Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, I always favor Radha Rani. I am on Radha Rani's side always. This is Rasa Vichar. From the point of view of Rasa. So please don't. We are talking today from the point of view of Rasa. So please don't, don't think there is some enmity between Krishna and Radha Rani. <laughs> Krishna Prema Mai Radha. Radha Prema Mai Ohari. Jeeva Ne Nidhan Nityam. Radha Krishna Gatir Nama. Krishna cannot live without Radha Rani. Radha Rani cannot live without Krishna. Krishna Drava Mai Radha. Radha Drava Mai Ohari. Jeeva Ne Nidhan Nityam. Radha Krishna Gatir Mama. Vrinda Vaneshwari Radha. Krishna Vrinda Vaneshwara. So there is, there is no, um, there is no difference between Radha and Krishna in Tattva. But in Rasa, uh, they are each other's lovers. Transcendental lovers. So let's go. Let's keep going. So there is a lotus flower. So we are like a bumblebee. Hum honeybee. Then there is number four. There is a dhwaja. There is a flag. See this? This is a flag. Can you see my cursor? There is a flag on the left lotus foot of Sri Radha. Yes, flag. Jai Pataka. This is Jai Pataka. Jai Pataka. We have our uh, Param Pujya Shula Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj. Jai Pataka. Radharani. Jai Pataka. Victory flag. This Jai Pataka indicates victory for a devotee. Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. Param Vijayate. A devotee will always be victorious. Kaunteya Pratijanihi Name Bhakta Pranashati. Victory flag for a devotee. Number six, there is a line curving up from the middle of the soul. To the middle toe. Urdhva. Urdhva line, this line. See my cursor? This is the line between the umbrella and the flag. Yeah, that. Urdhva Rekha. It's called Urdhva Rekha. Upward curving line. What does this line indicate? This Urdhva Rekha, upward going line indicates, my dear friends, that a devotee is always on the progressive path. Yes. Adho Shraddha, Tata Sadhu, Sangha, Bhajana Kriya, Anartha Nivritti, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, Prem. Like that. A devotee is always going up, 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 Urdhva Rekha. Just take shelter of Radharani's lotus feet and you will be on the progressive path of Bhakti. Okay. Number seven. Below her left little toe is an elephant gourd. You see this? Number five on the diagram, on the painting. You see this? Gourd, elephant gourd. Here, here, where my cursor is. Number five. Below the little finger of Radharani's. Oh, you cannot see my cursor? Ha, ah, yes. Number five. You see my? Yeah, this. Number five. Elephant gold. Elephant gold. Hmm? Elephant gold. It is hmm, called Ankush. Ankush. Elephant gold. The mind is chanchal. Chanchalahi manha krishna pramadi balavad dridam. Arjun says in Bhagavad Gita, the mind is very difficult to control. The mind of a sadhak is very restless. Everyone's mind is very restless. Takes us away from Krishna. Uncontrolled mind is the greatest enemy. Vairi, Krishna says. The mind is compared, compared to a mad elephant. The mind is compared to a powerful elephant. Very powerful the mind is. It can take you wherever it wants. doesn't listen. So how do you control a, a elephant? With the elephant gold. This elephant gold is an instrument used to control the elephant. So anyone who takes shelter of Sri Radhika's lotus feet will have no trouble controlling the mind. That is indicated by elephant gold. Elephant is like the mind. You control the elephant with the gold. You take shelter of Radharani's lotus feet and the ankush marking on Radharani's left lotus foot indicates 
that a devotee will be able to control the mind. Okay. Now let's go to Srimati Radharani's right foot. The signs on Sri Radharani's right foot are as follows. Number one, at the root of her right big toe is a conch shell, Shankha. See this? Shankha. This Shankha indicates all is inauspiciousness goes away. When you blow the Shankha, all inauspiciousness goes away. Therefore, before and after the Aarti, we blow the conch shell. Srila Prabhupada was in Bhaktivedanta manner and there was a, a, a mason, there was a, a worker who used to lay the bricks. He was having a ghost problem in the outhouse where he was living while working on the estate. He was actually working on the estate of John Lennon. So there was a ghost problem. So he told some devotee, devotee told Prabhupada, Prabhupada said, just go there with Mridanga, Kartal and Shankha and just do Harinam Sankirtan for a few hours. Just chant Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasadi, Gaur Bhaktavarinda three times and chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra for a few hours. Blow the conch shell. Play Mridanga and Kartal to Hare Krishna Mahamantra, loud Nam Sankirtan. And then the ghost will go away. So devotees went and for four hours they did Hare Nam Sankirtan. They chanted Hare Krishna Mahamantra loudly. And the mason reported that there was never again the ghost problem. Because he used to hear the ghost. He used to see things moving in the house. So it completely went away. That problem completely went away. So blowing of the conch shell indicates uh, all inauspiciousness goes away hmm? by the sound of the conch hmm? and also it gives transcendental knowledge when Dhruva Maharaj was touched on the head by Lord Vishnu's conch shell he got all Divya Dnya and Hridya Prakashito and he started offering beautiful prayers number two on Srimati Radharani's right foot soul on the heel her right heel is a fish you see that Makara Fish, yes, fish. It indicates just like a fish cannot live without jal, a fish cannot live without water, a devotee cannot live without Srimati Radharani. A devotee cannot live without Radha Krishna. Radha Krishna Pranamor, Yuga Lakishor, Jivane Marane Gati Aranahi Mor. In life and in death, I have no one other than Radha and Krishna. Radha Krishna Gatirman. So that is the fish. A fish cannot live without water. You give the fish Coca-Cola, thumbs up, Pepsi, Limka. No, not happy. I want water. Just water. Similarly, you give a devotee Bhukti, Mukti, Siddhi. No. Na yoga siddhir na mamastu moksha vai kuntha loke pina parshadatvam Prema pinasya aditi chetaram tu mamas tu vrindavana eva vasa. I just want Radharani's service in Vrindavan. Fish. Number four. There is a chariot. You see this big chariot in the center? Yes, chariot. The chariot indicates that this body human body is compared to a chariot. The human body is compared to the chariot. And by placing that chariot under the sole of the right foot of Sri Radhika Rani, we are telling Radha Rani that I am doing Atma Samarpan, Atma Nivedana. Mana Sadeha Geha Joki Chumo Arpi Lutu Vapade Nanda Kisho Manasa Deha, mind, body, everything, whatever is there, I offer at your lotus feet. I offer at your lotus feet. This uh, Sharir Rupi Rath, I want to offer at your lotus feet. That is my only Mano Rath. That is my only desire. Hmm? So that is the Rath. I offer my body at your lotus feet. 
then uh, mountain. You see this number two? Yes, there is a mountain. So this mountain indicates a prayer by the devotee that my dear Radharani, my dear Krishna, Krishna bhulya seiji anadi bahirmuk ataiva mayatare deha sam sarduk. Since eternity, I have forgotten you, my dear Radha and Krishna. Bhulia tomar. Shlo Bhakti Uno Thakur wrote. Anadi bahirmuk. Anadi karma phale. I have forgotten you forever. And therefore, my karma, my prarabdha karma and the whole reservoir of my karma is like a huge mountain. Huge mountain. It's like a huge mountain. My dear Radharani, I surrender at your lotus feet. I surrender my mountain of good and bad karma. <laughs> shub Ashub karma. This mountain of my karma, I surrender at your lotus feet, Radharani. Abhi aap dekh lo. Bas, aapke bharo se hai. Aapke bharo se. Complete surrender. I am completely depending on you, Radharani. This is my karma, good and bad karma. I don't want to hide anything from you. I offer it at your lotus feet, whatever it is. Now I am yours. I am leaving behind all my karma and I am just taking shelter of the service of your lotus feet. And Radharani takes care. She will take care of the mountain of karma. And Radharani took care of that for Jagai Madai in the form of Mahaprabhu. There also karma was like a big mountain. It was finished. In one moment it was finished. Then number six on the right foot is earring. Ear, yes, you see that beautiful earring. Earring. Earring indicates beauty. Beauty. And the real beauty that a devotee has is Vaishnava etiquette. Yadhyapi tu miho jagata pavan, tomas parshe pavan hai deva munigan, tathapi bhaktera swabhav maryada rakshan. Maryada palana hai sadhura bhushan. Bhushan. Sadhura bhushan. The ornament. Earring. The ornament of a devotee is Maryada rakshan. Observing Vaishnava Maryada. So this ring, earring on Radharani's lotus feet is a reminder that Radharani is the source of all beauty. Radharani is the source of all beautiful qualities. And our decoration, our ornamentation, our beauty is simply to follow the tenets of bhakti, the rules and regulations of bhakti, the maryada of bhakti. We have to live without the, within the maryada of dharma. Maryada palana hai sadhura bhushan. This is what Radharani is teaching us. The next is a club. Gada. Club. This club indicates that Radharani is telling us that any obstacle that may come from within or from without, with this gada, all your obstacles will be destroyed. Protection to the devotee. That is indicated by the gada. And then, number eight, there is the shakti weapon. There is the mark of shakti. Yes. Shakti weapon indicates that it is Radharani who gives us bhakti shakti. Radharani gives us the Bhakti Shakti. To move ahead towards the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna, we need Bhakti Shakti. And this Bhakti Shakti is given to us by Shrimati Radharani. She is the Ladini Shakti of Krishna. Radharani is the source of all Shakti. Radha Purna Shakti, Krishna Purna Shakti Man, Dui Vastu Bhedanahi Shastrera Praman. Radha Purna Shakti. That Shakti weapon indicates Radharani is source of all Shaktis. Radha Purna Shakti, Krishna Purna Shakti Man. A Shakti Man has no existence without the Shakti. Just like fire cannot be uh, present without light and heat. How can there be a fire without light and heat? Similarly, there is no Krishna without Radharani. Radha Purna Shakti, Krishna Purna Shakti Man. 
what is the meaning to shakti man without shakti so this indicates that our radharani is purna shakti and she empowers her devotees to carry on in her in their bhajan now there are um, many more signs signs on left hand of radharani right hand of radharani but of course we don't have time so just for the sake of completion i will not explain but i will simply read simply read through because we have to complete our darshan of radharani through our ears through the words of shila bhakti vinod thakur goswami maharaj saying on radharani's left hand there is a long life line extends from the point where the index finger and the middle finger meet to below the little finger number 2 another line begins from below the long life line and extends to the place between the index finger and the thumb number 3 below the thumb a curved line extends from the wrist to the space between the thumb and the index finger to meet in the middle line 4 to 8 on the tip of her thumb and each of her fingers is a chakra the three lines plus the five chakras make eight signs all together then below the ring finger is an elephant below the life line is a horse and below the middle line is a bull wow 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 thank you thank you thank you below the middle line is a bull below the little finger just my dear friends just let's hear this let's absorb it just by hearing by meditating on shrimati radharani's limbs our hearts will become purified and attracted to radharani below the life line is a horse below the middle line is a bull and below the little finger are elephant god a fan a shri tree a victory column an arrow a javelin and a garland on the right hand just as on the left hand there are three lines beginning with the life line in addition there is a conch shell on the tip of her thumb and each of her fingers that makes eight signs all together nine below the index finger is a chamar and below the little finger are 10 an elephant god 11 a palace 12 a dundubhi drum 13 a lightning bolt 14 two carts 15 an archer's bow 16 a sword and 17 a water pot since there are seven signs on the left foot eight signs on the right foot 18 on the left hand and 17 on the right hand all together there are 50 50 50 auspicious signs indicating supreme good fortune on the hands and legs of shrimati radharani on the palms and soles of shrimati radharani vijay are these symptoms not possible in others philosophical question are these auspicious signs not possible in others goswami ji replies these qualities are present in the jivas living entities to a very slight degree and somewhat more in the devis but they are all fully manifest only in shri radhika all of shri radhika's qualities are aprakrita they are transcendental radharani's qualities are transcendental aprakrita all these qualities that we um, read she is auspicious she maddens krishna she is expert in musical art she speaks sweetly she is expert at making jokes she is polite she is modest she is merciful she is cunning she is expert in all the duties she is shy she is patient she is always having righteous conduct she is grave she is fond of enjoying pastimes this is not these are not just some mundane qualities these are aprakrit qualities difficult to understand because we will always compare these so radharani is expert at cracking jokes so we should not think okay who is a joker in this material world who is a expert comedian so radharani is something no no that is prakrit buddhi no clearly it is said all of shri radhika's qualities are aprakrit they are transcendental because these qualities are not present purely and completely in anybody in the material world even in goddesses such as shri gauri mother parvati even they don't have these qualities like radharani vijay aha shrimati radhika's virtues are inconceivable one can realize them only by radharani's mercy goswami ji how can i express radharani's glories what is there to compare with the beauty and qualities that perpetually bewilder even krishna himself 
This was from the chapter 33rd of Jaiva Dharma. Shila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. <clears throat> I also wanted to read. Uh, of course, I'm not going to read. Don't worry. <laughs> it is five more pages. Um, very beautiful article that Shila Prabhupada wrote on Radharani, the supreme perfection. Very beautiful article Radharani wrote. Um, yeah, I wanted to read it, but maybe some other time. So, in this way, my dear friends, it is said that auspicious tithis have great power. Please listen carefully. I am almost done, just one minute more. Auspicious tithis have great power. The tithi of Sri Krishna Janmashtami is non different from Krishna. I repeat, the tithi, the day of Sri Krishna Janmashtami is non different from Krishna. The day of Sri Balaram Purnima is non different from Balaram. All the potencies of that personality are invested in that particular tithi, which means today, on the most auspicious occasion of Sri Radhashtami, this tithi is non different from Radharani. So let us honor this tithi by more chanting, more hearing, more uh, reading, more seva, more associating with devotees, reducing mundane activities. Let us honor Radharani by honoring her tithi. Madhava tithi, bhakti janani. All these tithis that are connected to Madhav, to Krishna and Radharani, they are bhakti janani. They are the mothers of our devotion. They give rise to devotion in our heart. And now finally, I would like to conclude with this one verse from Padma Puran. Are you ready? Padma Puran. Narad Muni asks Lord Brahma about the glories of Radhashtami. Today is Radhashtami. Let us see what Brahma just says. Eka dasya sahasrena yatphalam Labhate Naraha Radha Janmashtami Punyam Tasma Chat Gunadhikam <coughs> Although Ekadashi is so dear to Sri Hari, a person gains Shat 100 times more spiritual merit that leads to Bhakti. Bhakti Prada Sukriti by observing just one Radhashtami Vrat then he does by observing a thousand Ekadashi Vratas. Thousand Nirjala Ekadashis. If you observe Ekadashi Nirjala without drinking even water, the Vrat that you get. Ekadashya Sahasrena Yat Phalam Labhate Nara by following 1000 Ekadashis without food and water and by keeping awake all night. That is Ekadashi. That is the Vidhi of observing Ekadashi. The Nirjal and you remain, you do Jagran all night. Okay? That is Ekadashi. 1000 such Ekadashis, if someone observes, Ekadasha Sahasrena, 1000. Ekadasha Sahasrena, Yat Phalam Labhate Naraha, what spiritual credit, pious credit, bhakti, prada, sukrati, a devotee gets. Radha janmashtami punyam tasmad chhat gunadhikam. The credit, the bhakti, prada, sukrati, the sukrati that you get by observing 1000 ekadashi strictly, you get more than 100 times that benefit. Tasmad chhat gunadhikam. More than 100 times that benefit means 1000 multiplied by 100 plus. Adhikam. Radha Janmashtami Punyam. You get that Sukrati by observing one Radhashtami Vrat. So how do you observe Radhashtami Vrat? Very simple. Just read these beautiful prayers that our Acharyas have given like Shila Narutandas Thakur, Shila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Shila Rupa Raghunath Goswamis. Hear lectures of Srila Prabhupada and our Acharyas. Chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. It is mentioned that by our Acharyas that Hare Krishna Mahamantra is the mantra chanted by Srimati Radharani in Golok Vrindavan. It is not the mantra 
of just somebody it is the mantra of radharani his holiness mahanidhi swami maharaj writes this in his book chant the art of chanting hare krishna shri mahanidhi maharaj writes hare krishna maha mantra is the mantra of shrimati radharani and because it is the mantra of shrimati radharani shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu gave it who is in radha bhav how can mahaprabhu give because he is he has the heart of radharani that's why shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ordered us to chant the hare krishna maha mantra because it is the pran dhan of radharani golokera prema dhan hari naam sankirtan this is the meaning radharani's pran dhan that hare krishna maha mantra was brought by mahaprabhu who has radha who is krishna with the mood of radharani therefore you read chaitanya bhagavat in two occasions mahaprabhu specifically mentions the hare krishna maha mantra full mantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and it tells us to chant this mantra so therefore my dear friends more and more chanting of hare krishna maha mantra today only one meal today we have to fast till noon only 3 minutes left mercifully we have to fast till noon at noon we have to worship radharani we have to feed radharani nice bhoga and after that any time we can eat one meal but not that we eat in the afternoon and again we go to the temple and we eat again no one meal what that verse is there only one meal you can eat one meal today that's it any time after 12 noon after one has completed worship of radha and krishna and rest of the day you just chant and you can even take rest at night no problem not like ekadashi you have to keep awake just take rest okay this is a, this is radha ashtami vrat maximum chanting let us chant at least 64 rounds today let us uh, fast till noon let us worship radharani offer nice bhoga to radharani freshly cooked and let us eat one meal today one meal we can eat and let us keep chanting and hearing and reading and by doing this one vrat of radha ashtami today ekadasha sahasrena yat phalam labhate nara radha janmashtami punyam tasmat shat gunadhikam will get more than 100 times the gun of observing 1000 nirjala ekadashis how many years it will take to observe 1000 nirjala ekadashis <laughs> we don't even know only two ekadashis every month 1000 so we don't know but just one radhashtami today my dear friend radharani is so merciful she can make krishna into shri chaitanya mahaprabhu sochu mahavadan me aaya krishna prem pradayate so shrimati radharani ki jay and please know shri raghunath das goswami says in mana shiksha we should always look at shri guru as radharani spalya dasi shri gaur govind maharaj always said that guru is radha priya sakhi so let us meditate let us do all our services thinking our gurudev as a palya dasi of radharani all our acharyas as palya dasis of radharani and let us worship radha and krishna under the guidance of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu who has come to teach us we saw in the beginning mahaprabhu has come to taste and to teach he is relishing and he is distributing that is mahaprabhu so let us take this very seriously and let us be all happy in each other's association hare krishna shri radha ashtami vrat ki jai jai radhe shyam jai shri prabhupad ki jai his grace adigadatta prabhu ki jai Wow, what a what a good fortune, Prabhuji! Uh, what a good fortune to hear these narrations, beautiful narrations by yourself uh, on this most auspicious day. Our heart is swelled with gratitude, sincere, sincere gratitude. We are so so grateful. Thank you so very much. Such a beautiful narration of you know, tattva and rasa and beautiful meditations on shrimati radharani's beautiful form her qualities and lotus feet lotus hand you know all all by by you know your mercy we are so so grateful prabhu thank you so very much uh it is it is such i was just reading the word <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually reading Yes, yeah, so many uh, devotees from all over. They've been, you know, sticking for almost two hours. It was such a 
such a wonderful experience. Uh, looks like it's already noon time here. So it's time to worship Srimati Radharani. <laughs> I know some devotees might have questions, but uh, I don't know. Uh, should we take it, Prabhuji? I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Mm, I, I will leave it up to you. <laughs> Krishna Govinda. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we only have two hands. Uh, so we'll just take two more, uh, two questions, and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to keep it short, and then we'll end uh, over there. So well, first one is with, by Sandeep Prabhu. Dear Sandeep Prabhu, you can unmute. Brother Prabhuji, Prabhuji, thank you so much for this wonderful, uh, especially I like the uh, lotus feet of Radharani, the, all the... Uh, Symptom, uh, symbols there. Prabhuji, I have one question. As you talked about the elephant god, Ankush, and you mentioned that uh, that uh, that gives the power to control the elephant-like mind. Um, Prabhuji, I was thinking that uh, uh, we, we call Vaishnava Parada as a Hatimata, mm. the mad elephant. And uh, I also was remembering you were mentioning uh, Ashwatthama's uh, Vaishnava Parada and then taking shelter of Srimad Radharani. So, uh, is it is it right understanding to connect that elephant goat to control that Hatimata Prad as well, or absolutely, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. Hare Krishna, thank Hare you. Yes, uh, Sandeep Prabhu. And uh, next and uh, last question is from Sarmish Thamataji. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Mataji, you can unmute. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dhanavad Pradam, Jaisalam Prasad. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for such a wonderful video. I'm speechless, actually. Uh, Prabhuji, uh, of course, I have to clarify that uh, you mentioned just uh, at about 1,000, I can't see, but out of the how many years to take. So, uh, as I have calculated, so it will be near around 41 years, I guess. So, I, I don't know you know either I'm correct or not. So it's I don't we don't know whether for 41 years we will be alive or not. So thank you so much, Prabhuji, for guiding so nicely. And my question is, Prabhuji, uh, Radharani is so merciful and uh, she is so glorious. So why don't we hear about uh, Radharani all the time? Like we glorify Krishna all the time. Why don't we glorify Radharani all the time? <clears throat> when someone comes to your house if it's a postman who has come to deliver some letters you will talk to the postman at the door take the letters and bye bye if someone comes that can i just make a phone call from your house okay he can come in the main living room make a phone call and go if there is some friend you invite them from the office for a dinner prasad they will come inside of the house and they will be able to enter till the dining room. Now, if you invite your close friend for Prasad, you will let that close friend come even in the kitchen and that close friend will help you in the kitchen. Sharmishtha Mataji, I will help you in cooking. And you both will be shoulder to shoulder standing in the kitchen cooking. Then you will eat together. Sakha, you're eating together. You're friends. That is the intimacy. But when someone very, very close to you comes, you will not only bring them in the house, in the living room, in the dining room, in the kitchen, but you will even take them in the bedroom and chat, lie down on the bed and talk about old times and how you grew up together. And you will show the family album. You will show the pictures. Isn't that, that is the most intimate friendship. You will do that with only the most intimate dear friend. Similarly, for the whole world, we talk about the Siddhanta of Bhagavad Gita, we talk about Krishna Bhakti, Bhajan Marg for everybody. But Radha Tattva is so confidential. It is only meant for selected few, those who are sincere, those who have Sammandha Dnyan. It is only for them. Like only the intimate friend will be given entrance inside the deep inside of the house. Anywhere you go, you see the family photographs and everything together like that. So Radha Tattva is only meant for sincere devotees. Those who really want to go to Golok Rindavan. Whereas for everyone else, there is the 
vaidhi marg there is the tatva which is important that is the beginning but as we make progress then like that so like friendship goes deeper and deeper and deeper like that so radha rani radha tatva is very confidential that's why it is not spoken openly uh, commonly in iskon and it should not be is that okay sharmishta mata thank you so much sir this is it then okay Jai, wonderful. Um, so as uh, we mentioned, it's getting a little late uh, for Prabhu also, and you know he's been he's been truly just uh, giving out since I believe a very early morning, nonstop. Uh, is just so empowered. You can see the empowerment, glow of devotion, Prabhu. We are so 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 grateful. Thank you so very much. Thank just, you. Just, just last thing, uh, you mentioned about the five page article. uh would it be possible if you can share that article very happily i will yeah, share ja 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 so we we'll just from teachings of lord chaitanya oh okay shila well, prabhupad uh, glorifies radha rani i will send it across yeah so we'll share it uh, to all the devotees uh, richmond yatra and also on uh, adigadhar prabhu's group um so everyone will get it over there so so with that once again thank you all uh, very very much for kindly joining us in this virtual celebration but very purifying and wonderful celebration and once again on behalf of all the devotees very very grateful adigadhar prabhu thank you so thank much jai shri prabhupad ki jai shrimati radha rani ki jai 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 shri radhe thank you Hare Krishna. Shah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.